So today we're talking about the mysterious connectors on the side of some of the poetry synthesizers. Specifically, this is on the side of the ST30 Poetry Synth and the VT10 Poetry Synth Tuner. You can see that these each have an input and an output or a send and receive port. They were made at the same time and they were made to go together. It's just that finding the cable to go between them is nigh impossible nowadays. Now I get asked a lot if this is a MIDI port and I want to put that to rest, but it can offer some control and I'll show you how. To start, I will point out this is like a custom DIN connector. In the old days of DIN, these cables and connectors were all very custom and very arbitrary, so it's not a one size fits all type thing. I did start out thinking maybe I could get a PS2 port to work didn't work out. I did try cutting off the one of the pins, but it didn't line up. The sizing wasn't right. So I ended up just making a really dumb cable myself. You'll see it. It is awful. It's just a bunch of cables, which I stripped the ends off and attached little leads to the end. And then I splayed them out in the appropriate orientation and hot glued them together. It may be dumb, but it works. If I was going to take this further, I would make a custom cable, but I don't care to, you'll see at the end of the video. So to start off, you'll see that I attach the output or the send of the tuner to the input or receive of the ST30. When I start the tuning song, the tuner will play those notes and usually it goes through and does the notes on the little scale, but here it's actually playing the notes on the ST30. I show that by moving the volume up and down. So we see that there is a way to control the note output of the ST30 using the ports. And then I do a vice versa where I do the output of the ST30 to the input of the VT10 just for completeness. You'll see that when I press a button on the ST30, it does in fact show up on the tuner. It registers it as the appropriate note and we can see that one can control the other and back and forth. So this isn't standard MIDI, this isn't standard anything, what is this protocol? I went ahead and took the output or send of the VT10 and hooked it up to a logic analyzer so that I could see what is the VT10 outputting that is controlling the notes for the ST30. I showed a couple captures here, nothing crazy. I figured, okay, I'll try and recreate this as an input to the ST30. Then I went ahead and used LabVIEW to recreate those signals. I used the NI USB DAC to go ahead and output those signals. I tried this both as an analog and a digital output for the recreation. 
And by doing that general output, which is basically just repeating, it's rather than understanding the protocol, just saying, hey, let me go ahead and repeat out what I saw, I can recreate a note. It wasn't some magical, hey, I can now convert MIDI to this appropriate protocol and control the device, but I can show that using a computer, I can control the ST30. So it's a start. I'm not going to take this to completion because at the end of the day, I would prefer to just play the device and there's better things to control. But if someone has this as a hobby project, yeah, you can. It is doable. It's not MIDI but it is controllable, so have at it and have fun.